big move is in store for city workers and Memorial Auditorium and major changes for how the public accesses services with all details still yet to be worked out. The temporary relocation of City Hall employees to other downtown buildings for two years is to make way for a major renovation of the almost 100-year-old building. Councilors voted this morning to allocate almost $30 million in federal COVID Relief Act funds to replace the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning conditioning in the nearly 100 year old century building and for rent and improvements for the temporary offices there. Assistant City Manager Blake Juracek says that they are working to minimize the effects of the move on the public. The renovation process, the two years, I mean, we'll, we'll do the best we can to minimize any effect uh, on our citizens. Uh, but, you know, we want to keep in mind that in the end, uh, a lot of the renovations we're doing is for the public. Uh, we're going to renovate the third floor, move the council chambers up there. We're going to make it a lot more inviting for our public to come in for events uh, at the performance hall and also for council meeting and other things they come to the uh, auditorium for. We're, we're really excited about the accessibility to the public of, of, uh, of the renovation. The city signed two-year agreements with the Big Blue Building at $17,500 a month and $18,585 a month in the Wichita Tower. If the project is not finished in two years, extensions at two-month increments are in the contracts. Chris Horgan with the City of Wichita Falls says the city offices will be vacated by the end of the year and that people will still be able to pay their utility bills, but the details on that have not yet been worked out. He said they will announce where you can pay your bills once a decision has been made.